this is the same thing friends that we see in the ace of cups which is again over here there is a cloud there is a hand coming out of a cloud and the hand is holding a cup and it is offering to the man sitting over here so friends the energy of the aces that was there the new emotional offer the new love offer the new relationship offer it is repeating itself over here Om friends welcome to Zazen Tarot space The card that we have brought for you today is a very interesting card it is the 4 of cups friends we had seen in our lecture series number series uh, lecture uh, on the fours we had seen that the fours signify stability the fours the keyword for the fours is stability On the other hand, hand friends, when we had learnt the significance of the four suits, we had studied that cups, the suit of cups, signifies emotions. Friends, in the four of cups, these two energies are brought together: the energy of stability and the energy of emotions. But what makes this card really interesting? Very complex, also, in fact. Why is it so complex? It is complex friends because as we had studied emotions is about water the water element. So emotions being the water element and what is water? We see in a river water is continuously flowing. Water is about movement. Now imagine combining stability with the exact opposite that is movement and flow. What do we get? this is really strange because we are trying to combine stability with non stability what do we get now do we get stability or do we get non stability friends if you've tried any water sports you would have seen in certain areas what happens is that the water flows in circular motion it's 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 a circular motion and then the water keeps getting stuck in between it's a dangerous situation and it's also a very dangerous water phenomenon so that is the kind of thing that we are talking about here that there is movement yes because water will always flow but then there is stagnation so stability plus non stability gives us exactly that stagnation okay now let us look at the cards and then we will understand all of this in more detail So see we see a man sitting over here under a tree we see three cups in front of him the man is sitting in probably there seems to be grass around it seems to be uh, natural surroundings and we see three cups upright in front we also see one cup being uh, the, this is the same thing friends that we see in the ace of cups which is again over here there is a cloud there is a hand coming out of a cloud and the hand is holding a cup and it is offering to the man sitting over here so friends the energy of the aces that was there the new emotional offer the new love offer the new relationship offer it is repeating itself over here and ace of cups was a very happy card with a lot of energy the seed of emotion the newness of new emotions so why does this card look like a sad card because the man when we look at the man sitting over here we can clearly see that the man does not seem happy he seems rather uh, sad or self absorbed this is exactly what i meant about combining stability with non stability so here what has happened is there is emotional stability which is shown in the front the three cups show that the person has enough in his life in terms of emotions and relationships at this point of time i would like to also connect this card with our three of cups where in the ace of cups we had seen a new offer and in the two of cups we had decided to take up that offer how by combining 
both the cups and letting them flow together because it is water element it can easily flow together and merge into one so in two of cups we had taken that decision and in the three of cups we had grown that and probably also involved more people than just two and we were enjoying our emotional state our state of being emotionally happy having so much in life having happiness friendships relationships so ace of cups two of cups three of cups they were all very positive cards so then why is this card so gloomy one look at the man and we know it is gloomy because the three of cups over here have made him sufficient once they have made him sufficient he is really wondering whether he wants the new cup that is being offered to him at all so where emotions is about movement and flow the person is taking a pause and the movement and flow has now come to an abrupt stagnation and he is not sure whether he wants to accept the new cup so what does this card mean first it is about see if you look at the person is he looking at the three cups that he has no he is not is he excited about the three cups he has he has no he is not is he excited about the new offer he is not even looking at the cup so he is not looking either at what he already has nor is he looking at whatever is being offered so this is the card where we say that okay we have enough but that enough is unappreciated friends you would have seen to give you an example sometimes when we start a new relationship the excitement of the new relationship that joy we are very excited we are willing to overlook the flaws of the other person we just want to be with the other person that excitement of a new relationship what is happening here but the three cups are still there but they are going unappreciated when the relationship with time becomes it's like you become used to that love you become used to not being lonely then after some time you stop seeing its worth that is exactly what is depicted over here the person is not looking at the three cups that he has it is a card of showing being discontent with whatever you already have maybe finding fault for example in a new marriage the couple will not look at each other's fault they are only interested or in fact until uh, couples are married all they can see is the positives and the parents say look at the negatives also they say no we want to marry this person because i i completely love this person and this and that you can't see the fault i'm not saying that that is bad all i'm saying is okay it may not be practical but then when there is new love you just cannot see any flaws any negativity but in this card you are now beginning to see the flaws you are finding fault you may be getting irritated that is what this card is about it's about being discontent and apart from being discontent it could also be about losing interest in whatever you have so when you lose interest what happens obviously that itself shows that there is stability in terms of what you have emotionally but there is non stability in terms of what you are feeling there is stagnation you have enough you're not happy with what you have this card is usually a warning sign that boy you better appreciate what you have otherwise whatever you have will also be lost this card is usually a warning now another important thing here is that this querent that we see can be uh, sorry the the querent that who comes to us can either be uh, can, he, the querent can be on either side of the relationship when this card comes up we cannot say that for certain that the querent is being unappreciated unappreciative it could also be so you could either be the man or you could be the cups so the querent who's asked the question and this card comes up four of cups it is possible that the querent is either not appreciating whatever he or she has or else it could be that the querent is feeling unappreciated so how do you decide which of the two it is either you will need to draw out a clarifier card that is an extra card 
to ask this question and clarify things for you whether the querent is being depicted uh, as a, un- being unappreciated or being unappreciative or else the other option is to look at the cards around the card if you have more cards then those cards will tell us something more about this but you need to salvage the relationship there is still time when four of cups comes up there is still time but time is running out you need to appreciate it now that we have understood the basic meaning of the card we have looked at the card we have connected it to whatever we have learned until now in terms of our uh, suit numbers as well as the uh, ace of cups two of cups and three of cups now let us look at the details what are the other meanings or what are the meanings originating from the uh, obvious meaning on the card so of course being self absorbed that is very evident from uh, looking at the man sitting in the uh, card so being self absorbed also concentrating only on your own feelings not being aware of the other people also withholding affection why because you are not firstly you are unsatisfied with what is then you are not appreciating so you will withhold affection you are ignoring whatever gifts you have in life the blessings that you have in life you are not being you know one thing is being receptive so yes you are not being receptive you are also not exuberating things you are not giving things out either you are only seeing your own point of view so this is a very restricting card yeah now apart from this feeling disengaged from people and circumstances finding life to be stale and flat not feeling the desire losing interest also not making any effort lacking motivation then if we go a little try to go on a little more positive side of the card then it could mean that you're going within you are being introspective or you're just being in your own dream world you're dreaming or else maybe you're meditating and contemplating things or sometimes you want to pause and reflect on the situation basically you withdrawing from any kind of involvement with people or circumstances and you're losing outer awareness and you're going inwards fine friends so this is our four of cups now in terms of four of cups our opposing cards and reinforcing cards what are opposing cards and what are reinforcing cards friends opposing cards opposite in the meaning in one or more ways to whatever card we are talking about reinforcing cards cards which reinforce the meaning which have the same meaning it is like antonyms and synonyms so opposing cards can be called as antonyms and reinforcing cards can be called as synonyms now opposing cards the world you are getting involved here you are caring you're taking part even if friends at one glance you have not seen some of the cards you have not seen the meanings of some of these cards when you look at the card you can make out that this is a very positive card as opposed to our four of cups four of wands we have already done just done beautiful card lot of excitement very high on energy optimism is there exactly opposite to our four of cups two of cups where we were seeing connection where we were sharing with others we were merging into our loved one here we have disconnected uh, disassociated uh, in fact even three of cups for that matter there we were celebrating and happy and connecting with our loved ones we are not doing that with the four of cups eight of pentacles we were making an effort we were working hard here we are not making any effort So friends you see how each of these cards even though they they may not be opposing every single thing of the four of cups but they are opposing something or the other similarly reinforcing cards in the four of cups also we were t- talking about withdrawing meditating being introverted that's exactly what hermit talks about both cards are the same four of swords here also we are contemplating taking time alone resting withdrawing same as four of cups six of swords we are feeling depressed the same so depressed in six of swords as well as in four of cups 
so friends i hope you have understood the essence of the four of cups and now we will understand four of swords which is next in line